Well, health literacy is basically the ability of someone to find health information, you know, actually understand and evaluate that health information, communicate that health information, and then be able to process it so that they can act upon health information. That's, that's kind of the traditional uh, definition of health literacy, but, but that's now been expanded, so it's not just those individual skills, it's also how well the system kind of supports individuals in, in, with those skills and meeting those challenges because our, our health system places a lot of very high demands and they present information in very complex ways that can make it difficult for a lot of people to actually use those skills. One example that I have, and this is something, you know, when we think about literacy, a lot of times we think, oh, it's, it's just mainly those people who have trouble reading, who have difficulty reading. But, but really, I think health literacy affects us all. So, so for example, I have a master's degree. I, I work in a hospital. But recently, I went to the doctor, and I have uh, two twins, a, a boy and a girl. And my daughter was sick, so she had an infection. And they gave me an antibiotic that I had to pick up. And, and I work at a hospital, so I called it in to my hospital pharmacy. And when I went down to the pharmacy, you know, it was a little late in the day. And so the pharmacist, when they asked me if I had any questions, I, I had that antibiotic before, so I didn't even look at it. You know, I said, oh, no, I got any questions. I, I went on, and she gave me my prescription, and I went home. And when I got home that night, I looked at the label, and the label said to give one or give two teaspoons to your or by mouth once a day. And so I looked, and I noticed at first that my hospital gave me two of these little cups, that abbreviation, they said, oh, I'd fill it up to the two TBS. So they would have given my daughter two tablespoons instead of two teaspoons. But meanwhile, I'm, I'm trying to look at this cup and trying to figure out how to do two teaspoons with the cup. There's a one TSP, and there's a one TBS, and there's one that says one DSSP, which I didn't know what that meant. But I'm looking at it, and I, I could have very easily used two cups like they'd given me and filled one up to each. But my daughter does not like to take medicine, so I didn't want to have that fight with her two times. And so I was sitting there, and it was getting a little late, and my wife came in, and she was like, what, what's taking you so long doing this medicine? And I, I explained to her my, my issues with this cup, and she's a very pragmatic person. So she looked at it, and she goes, well, you know that, there's that measurement, one DSSP, maybe, maybe that stands for double spoon. It looks like it's two teaspoons, and I, I look, and if you look at it, I know it's hard. So I filled it up there, and I, I gave it to my daughter. And the next day, I came back to the pharmacy because I'm a health literacy expert, and so I wanted to, you know, point this out, that it's very difficult to use. And as I'm explaining myself, she was very kind and, and interrupted me and said, well, I, I'm sorry, sir, but DSSP actually is a British measurement. It stands for dessert spoon. And it's actually 2.4 teaspoons, so you had to actually overdosed your daughter a little bit. And, um, and so that was, you know, a challenge that, you know, here, and to me, this, this cup then represents health literacy in so many ways. One, you know, we've got measurements on here that we don't acknowledge in our instructions. We don't tell people the abbreviations, we just tell them spelled out. And if they don't know those abbreviations naturally, then they're bound to make mistakes. But two, we've got measurements on this cup we don't even use. I mean, in addition to that, there's a cc's, milliliters, fluid ounces, drams, which we don't use in this country. I've talked to many doctors, and only one doctor who was 85 said he used that in medical school. So drams we don't use, but it highlights that, you know, this cup was made for the global market, and that's what it was created for. It wasn't created with that end use in mind. And those end uses, when the patient actually gets these things, and all of our healthcare products are like that, we create them for the market to be sold, not, not necessarily for that patient use. And it highlights those challenges that we have then because we don't recognize this. And it wasn't until I was actually talking to a nurse about this that she pointed out, you know, all that they would have had to do was recognize that issue and point out to you that five cc's equals one teaspoon. And so you just need to fill it up to the 10 cc mark. And had they had a Sharpie, they could have marked the cup for you. And so it highlights these, you know, once we recognize and identify these challenges, sometimes the solutions are very simple. Just a little training and a, a dollar Sharpie marker is all that is needed to correct this issue.